Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Now we are terraforming Mars. I have painted the floor. Now the floor is no longer white everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still trying to terraform Mars. Our old base has almost been abandoned down there. Still see the light of the weather station. And it's a nice night. Um, anyway, last time we set up the uh, genetics... Uh, so we can start torching the plants and um, and Wilson has got a prime seat to watch the torture happening. Having fun there are you? <laughs> Nasty laugh. Now uh, that fern looks like it's quite near. Yeah, I did, did put the wrong one in there. Ah, uh, yeah, so that was a temperature. That one was also temperature, but it is a low temperature in there. Um, it is still a low temperature in there because um, I forgot to put it, still haven't put an air conditioner out here to maintain the temperature. Though it is up to 24 degrees now, so uh, passive vent uh, radiators seem to be balanced. Um, it is still cold in there, so I may have to put another air conditioner in there if it starts getting too cold. Uh, you're still growing, but you look to be good. So um, I could almost go in there and get that. Now, I've been thinking about these ones here, though I am doing a pressure uh, test on that one there. Uh, pressure one's not so bad. The pressure's going to be pretty constant, although it may drop too low. But I, mean, I think the uh, the uh, dials on the on the plant samplers, they went down to, uh, uh, not that one, that one. No, I do want to look at that one. Why aren't you letting me do that one? Oh, they must have reset. Um, anyway, I'll grab one. Now the dials on these things, I think I'd let it go down to minus 30 degrees, was it? Um, uh, that one. So the temperature on that could go down to minus 30. I'm not sure if that's a hard limit just on the UI or whether that's something for the plants or how far it can go, but um, yeah, if I can't get the atmosphere up to minus 30, because I've had not had much chance of changing that at the moment, um, but if I can't get that, I could change the pressure tolerance, which is a different one there. So it's when the, if the pressure uh, goes up and down with the temperature, if I can't get the nighttime pressure to be up high enough, I could probably at least get the tolerance up high enough for it to survive the night. So the same as the temperature. If it goes to, it still goes to minus 70 for half the night, if I can get it to survive cold temperatures for a few hours, it should survive through to the next day where it can start growing again. Uh, so it's, I've got to destable both the tolerance and the, um, the minimum value. Uh, but anyway, and I've still got to do the pollution one. Right, so a few suggestions on this one here. We put dials in there because I have, I, yeah, and I have changed the doors over to something that I can get through pretty quicker. Now we do have the that thing inside. A dial on the outside would allow me to change that without having to go in and, well, change the, the code. Um, just a simple dial to ch turn the pressure down or the temperature down uh, or the pollutant up. Uh, that would probably be handy. Um, so we shall have to do that. I'll have to put in my pollutant tank. I shall have to uh, put in our next round of uh, stuff. These things are all growing. So we're good. I think I got some uh, pumpkins out of this already. Ah, power might be handy on those things. Um, but anyway, let's see what we're doing. So I had to get pollutant tank some oh, I haven't got my anything wired up in there yet so I've got to get the pipes over to there um, right and if I run out of pipes or if I just got a new pack got a new backpack there we go up <laughs> and I'll put something on that wall so I don't keep bumping into it um, right so you I could put uh, I think I'm going to have to dump pollutant straight into the room because I can't put it into that pipe because that goes all the way around the base. Um, but I will need an overpressure. So 
Tämä on idea. New back pressure regulator on there, same as the other ones. Um, uh, where's my spanner? You, you can come straight out of there. Over to, uh, maybe not. Uh, now I need a vent. Did I have another passive vent? So I need at least two passive vents because I'm going to get one from the pollutant, uh, which will be very cold gas because I'm going to get that from outside. So if I have an insulated pipe, which I don't have. Um, uh, right. Successful. Um, so some vents, some pipes are. Uh, I have a volume pump, I need some insulated pipes. Uh, so you go into there. From into there, you have to go up the wall. So you'll probably go over there somewhere. Uh, oh, crap. Um, maybe over there. So I've got to get a vent for you, vent for you, power you all up, power to you, pipes into there from the pollutant tanks on these insulated pipes. Yep. Okay, simples. Let's go. Uh, anything else I wanted in here? I've got to wire them up. Uh, yeah. Probably get some drinks up here too. To not get. Uh, not get distracted with anything. We better switch on our rockets and um, get things moving. Uh, quick drink on the way out. Sort of a quick drink. There we go. And I painted the door orange to say it's danger. Don't go out there with your helmet open. Oh yeah, and I've got to go fix that. Uh, fix that power regulator that people complained about. I don't know. Now I did have a suggestion for a gas mining rocket. Now normally gas mining rockets I find are pretty useless, but um, I didn't originally put one in because I didn't want it to be collecting all the pollutant, which I didn't want. But now that I'm dumping pollutant, the gas mining rocket might be a very good way of getting the um, uh, getting large amounts of nitrous. Uh, so we shall see. Now I might grab my uh, Switch my junk miner back on again and see if I can get that to once again get me some seeds. We'll see how we go. Uh, I need to go down. That's um, better import at first, hadn't I? Uh, that was you. Switch you back on again, junk miner. From export you. That's all we had to do. Where you go. Nice. Now, rockets are operational again. I've still got my cup of coffee. So all's good. Um, right. Now, I still... You're doing bugger all. Yep, filters are good. You're good. Oh, it's actually making a bit of a headway on those heavy filters. Wow, I don't think I've ever used a heavy filter all the way through. We're good. Uh, plenty of water still. Can I switch my... Ah, uh, yeah, I'll switch it back on again. If I switch you back on again. Uh, you are currently shut off. You should switch back on again if you're working properly. Right about now. There we go. Little adjust on the dial we saw there, and uh, we're all going. Nice. Now. 
Now we had to get the um, had to get the stuff from downstairs. Wee! Now I did put a tank down here so I can get the uh, pollutant out of this one. Uh, that's not what I want. I want that one. So I have coal pollutant into here. So uh, uh, 6,700 moles from it. So I should be able to just uh, put a filtration system into here, suck the pollutant into there, and then I use a pressure regulator to put it into my insulated tank. And hopefully that's not going to just freeze out the room upstairs. Uh, so that's, anyway, off we go. Um, right, now, um, now as I'm spending a lot of my time not in this room now, this used to be my main base, I've just been seems to be spending a lot of time up there. It might be time to put some uh, little quality of life improvements on uh, this stuff here. So I have uh, made up some, printed out some chips and stuff, so we can put in a bit of, well at least set it up so as I can set a number of devices I want and just press print because I've got a ridiculous amount of uh, resources in some of these. So I can't just say uh, print that until you run out. It's, uh, it'll be printing for a very long time. So um, I'm going to put a, a counter on there. So as I can set the number that I want uh, on the, this thing and um, it will just print out however many I set. Uh, so if I hook you up there, 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 oop, nice. Um, so you're an auto lay stacker, electro stacker, and a pipe stacker. So now I just need to get my chips. Now I can uh, edit. Now I've made a, a code for them a while ago. This is my um, uh, logistics, printer, printer logistics version 4. Overwrite you. So now I should be able to just, uh, this one's the one that handles the vending machines and restocking of them there. But if I don't have the vending machine hooked up, it should just uh, operate by using the, uh, the number of uh, that's set on the stacker. Right, so uh, export ye and she one, you'll be unhappy there. So you are the pipe bender uh, hydraulic, that'll be a H. Hydraulic pipe bender and we want the pipe stacker. Pipe stacker, there we go. Chew in. No. Error at line 14. Um, 14 is... Ah! I don't have a checker on the setup. Okay, well I can do that. I was expecting to find a sorter there. I'm pretty sure I did put the uh, everything else in the rest of the code for the sorter. Um, Uh, if I can find it, sorter. Yeah, it does check down here. It doesn't check it on the setup. All right. Okay. So if I copy you into there, branch device not set sorter. Um, just go to the start. All right. So it comes down to here. There's no sorter attached. Uh, skip out the bit that sets up the sorter. Confirm. Export you. And oops. No errors, we're happy. So I should just be able to say now, um, oh, grab some of them. Just make me one of, the, one of them. And it should automatically print one and stop. Ha, nice. Uh, now if I say, uh, give me more of them, they can do that and I don't have to watch it. 
Nice. So now, you uh, wait. You you um, export you export you to you and to you. Now you are the electronics printer. Electronics printer and the electronics stacker. Yoink. You're happy. You're happy. You are the auto lathe and the auto lathe stacker. Nice. You're happy. Excellent. So that should be a little bit of a quality of life improvement on them. Uh, so, can anybody remember what I was here for? Um, ooh. Some critical repairs. Wah. Now the error will be gone. Once again, that is Elmo's uh, network painter. So uh, that's how I paint the whole network in one spray. Um, right, rockets are there. We're stacking, we're sorting now. These are taking a little while to unload. So yes, I do have to create a better way of unloading these. Um, do, 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 do. If we come up here, we see that you're still flying. You're sitting here, not unloading. You're refueled, but you've still got stuff in there. So uh, that one could be launched. You are sitting here. You could be launching back and getting more as well. You are still flying. You'll be back soon. You're not picking up anything new. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Uh, but you'll be on your way back soon. And I'll have another thing sitting there waiting to unload. Uh, okay. So I needed vents. I needed the atmospherics to go down the bottom there. So I need to start collecting that. Uh, I do have my pipes to go and collect that. I need the filtration system. I shall need a couple of vents. Um, uh, Tanks, a mixer. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, so I needed to get some filters. Do I have pollutant filters? I certainly do. We. Uh, yeah, I need some more of the uh, plane pipes. And some vents. Uh, I needed. Uh, I'll need heaps of them now. I'll grab five. I have a full stack. And um, and um, pipes. Maybe two stacks of them. Uh, right. Now I am. Um, there goes one. Get through the door. Now, so I needed a vent to put onto uh, you over there. To vent that out. I needed one to uh, suck everything in there. I need to hook up that pipe. You will need to be hooked up to this one. I'll need cables to there, so directly along the bottom. Uh, 
you go up to there. That should be hooked up. That is hooked up. Uh, power to you, to you, to you, to you. Uh, nope. Go away. Be gone. Now, I can put power um, bring it down to there because I put that pipe in the way where I can do that. You, 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 and I'll need to then hook up to you. Uh, need to hook up you. Um, all right. Did I get that wrong? I must have got that wrong. Uh, so I shall need my cutters. I cannot cut that one. Well, wherever it's going, I'll fix it. Uh, right. Now, there. You'll have to get over to that pipe's in the way. Uh, come over that way. Whew, here we go. If, you, if I hook that one up. Shit. <laughs> well, you got power. You got power? Why haven't you got power? Oh, I missed completely there, didn't I? Um, what the? How do what? I just. Um, I got no idea what happened there. But uh, let's just. <laughs> Alright. Damn stupid collisions. Right, now. Give me that. Uh. Now we're hooked up. Right. Those windows back in. Right. There you are hooked up. Um, so, our oh, sensor. Yep. And you. Uh, so, power is in there. To you, to you. So you are back pressure. So we shall set you to uh, what we see it to. We're blowing into seventy. Set you to sixty-nine. Uh, you can probably wait. Uh, right. You look like you are just about grown. You are almost definitely grown. So I need more of them. Uh, I should need my atmospherics. We shall start collecting pollutant. Um, atmospherics. And I should probably want uh, some cable too. Right. Uh, cable. Atmospherics. Uh, I've got pipes. Uh, right. Let's go and get some pollutant. Yep. Helmet closed. 
And I've still got my coffee. Yep. Handy. Flowers. Oh, pipes. Ah, handy. Uh, cables. Oh, look, another rocket. <laughs> Milk. Nice. Uh, stackers. Oh, battery I'll have. Uh, tank connector. Nice. Uh, right, so I'll probably, you'll probably need to put an insulated tank connector on the thing upstairs, won't I? Yeah. Yep. That'll do us. Oop, you can go into there. Uh, now. No, okay, I'm safe. There's no rocket up above. I'll check that after I've jumped down there. Now, uh, so I shall need to have you going out into there so the inwards can hook up there. Uh, so we need to hook up you and you to there. You can hook up to there. Wow, okay, that's actually convenient when I go get power. To you, to you, I have power. Hmm, okay. Let's just nod and smile and go with that one. It works. So shut up and be happy. Uh, do, 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 do. You, 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 you. Do oh one short that's always the tradition isn't it uh, boop, here we go so I now have a one of them. Right, so brown poopy gas. Now, Brenna, <laughs> I suggest the the uh, because I've got my brown gas. I've got two brown pipes up in the room up top, and to tell them both apart, I should get one sort of segmented for black and brown versus just straight black brown. So yeah, I like some of the power conduits. Say they, they use green and yellow stripes on it to designate an earth loop. Um, but uh, that would be too much like hard work. Uh, Elmo. <laughs> Can your network painter do that? Alternated colours? That would be a that would be a challenge. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but uh, interesting programming challenge. Uh, right. Now you are done. I should be able to do that, and we shall have some. Um, Gas going in there. We have pollutant. Not a lot, but we've got pollutant. Oh, it's chewing through that pretty quickly. Yeah, not really. Very good. Right, so we should be getting that into there. So now I should be able to switch on. That is a smart tank. I think they can take a fair bit. Um, whoop, tank. Uh, portable tank, portable tank, portable tank. Um, portable tank, Mark two is, yes, makes that. It can take a pressure of. Uh, 20 megapascals. Right. So, um, my well-planned thing in there. 
I'll take you. Well, I'll take you up to fifteen. Yeah. But, um, put that away. Put that away. You set the fifteen. Put you on. Right. Uh, I don't have a temperature thing on pressure on that, do I? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, the hot one only took about 200, 200 moles in there, and that was up to uh, uh, 10 megapascals. This one's only half a megapascal, and it's already got more in it. So, yeah, that's probably the way to do it. So we'll leave you to do your thing. Uh, I don't think you're going to overpressurize that tank. Um, yeah, what could go wrong? All we're going to do is explode one tank beside a really, really big tank that's really high pressure as well. It'll be fine. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, right, so we're now collecting pollutant. Uh, grab my pipes. Um, treasures. Oh, an insulated tank stand. Well, thank you. There's another one. Uh, oh, and some vents. Oh, I've already made the vents. And more beds. Yet more beds. Another desk lamp. Uh, I'll take the floors and I'll take the pipes. Uh, and some clean pants. Oh, a graph! Wow! I got a graph! I've got to take that. Because this base is notably gas defi graph deficient at the moment. Um, that's not the plants we want. I want the uh, transformers. You can never have too many transformers. Um, right, and they're. Oh, they're old radiators. They're, <laughs> they're just not. Not the updated ones. Okay. Uh, more radiators. Okay, we've really got a thing for radiators this game. Uh, gyroscopes. Right, let's let's not go looking at that stuff. Let's let's go do what we're meant to be doing. Uh, I oh so much for it being a nice day. Yeah. Now it's regenerated the rooms. Do I still have the dust down here? I do. Ow. Uh, oh well. And uh, yeah, we're outside here. The rockets still fly in the storm, so don't worry. Uh, I'm lost. Here we go. Yeah. Whew. Now I'll put this can of green crap in there because I don't actually want to eat the stuff. That just sounds horrible. Uh, I don't have to dust. Oh. I thought there was dust in here, but that seems to have cleared up. The stuff out here is still going. Um, we're fine. Ooh, pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. Uh, right, now. Stop procrastinating, get back to work. Now, I need power still. Still need power in there. Uh, right. So I needed to, we were hooking up stuff. Now is that, is that was that a, a lerp, lerp? That is not an insulated tank connector, so you can sod off. Because I got a new one. Here we go. Um, so the tank will go into there. 
uh, you can all be the be painted. Nope. Nice. Nice. Uh, you're all good. Um, more pipes for that. Right. Now, and I need another chip in here so I can separate out the light sensor to control that from the other one so then I have a spare pin to put the dials on. And I didn't bring the dials. Wow, they're growing really badly now. Um, but I think you're ready. You're ready. Uh, I haven't even got you set up yet. So you're not ready. And you. Right, you're hooked up. Now, seeing as I do have a scrubber uh, out here to get rid of the pollutant, which is uh, works better if you got switched on, uh, that'll scrub all the pollutant out of the atmosphere, so any pollutant I put into this room, I can dump straight back out into here and recycle it, because this scrubber will take out all the pollutant I add. So that might save me having to run another pipe just directly outside. Uh, well, if I am going to put uh, heaters into here, I will need to get more waste pipes out. Uh, I suppose that heat pipe I can put to there. Oh, yeah, let's, let's not worry about that just yet. That'll be tomorrow's problem. Um, we can have transformers, super precious graph display. Um, now I think I've got all the vents I want. Oh yes, this one was pretty critical problems here. Yep, uh, upside down. Oh, there is a reversed one for it. There we go. Crisis averted. Up the right way. That was so many comments. I'm going to go do the other ones. Ooh. He's back. More space madness. Just what I need. Um, well, that one's on an angle. So we don't need to fix that one. That's on an angle. That's on an angle. That's on it. There's only one of them. I put one of them upside down. I got so many comments. Who are you people? Oh, pumpkins. Nice. Uh, now, uh, I was doing something. Oh, almost got more poop. Now I've got to put in more pumpkins. Uh, I should put in some potatoes and some soy so I can make chips. Get myself a proper cholesterol boost to keep me through the day. Um, what was I doing? Um, stuff. I was going to have a little plant. Like, right, let's, uh, let's do that. Um, so... What are you doing? We have seeds, we have seeds, we have ferns, right. So let's pick you. Um, let's see what we've got. It has been growing in the... I did destabilize the uh, temperature in that one, but it was cold in that room too, so uh, uh, let's let's see what we've got. Um, you there as a parent seed. So now I want you uh, grab you. It's the next one. Grab you. It's the last one. Now what did we get? Our temperature. Um. Oh, 
Well, that didn't change the temperature range at all. What the ass? Um, uh, well, that one went down to 18 degrees. Oh, minus two. Okay, so I've got a little bit of change on that one. The uh, gas production has gone right down. Uh, so you want the time to darkness damage to go up. So time to damage. Yeah. Okay, right. Now, what did we want from this? Gas production has gone down. That doesn't really matter. That's the best one we've got for temperature. The pressure 52. That pressure actually went up. What the hell? That pressure's unchanged. It's gone down a little bit. It's gone down a little bit of pressure, a little bit of temperature. The pressure's gone up. I was growing that at low pressure. What the hell? Um, madness. Uh, also, the gray stabilizer doesn't quite hold on. So it was low temperature tolerance we had on there. So the temperature tolerance was the one that should have uh, changed. Low temperature. Wait a minute, what have you got? <laughs> ah, shit. Low temperature tolerance. So that was should have well, had the low temperature go down. Uh, if I'm reading this right. No temperature tolerance. Do we have a pressure tolerance? No drought, water, low pressure resistance. Okay, so I want to get low pressure resistance. Holy crap, this is confusing now. Um, right, so... Uh, I just want to start this one again. This is confusing. So I'll stabilize everything. So this one is the pressure one. <gasps> Boop. Yoink. Yeah. You switched on. Where you go? Poop away, my friend. Um, so I, yes, I am doing the pressure one. That is low pressure room. So, um, as this one has been a complete flop of an experiment, now I have to take it outside of the uh, pressure range to actually be working. So the last one was the best one we got. So let's put you into there. Uh, I shall stabilize everything. Uh, boop. And boop. I believe that means it won't change as much. So we want to destabilize pressure. We're doing pressure. Remember that we're doing pressure because it's definitely pressure. Um, we want to uh, grow speed. We want to get light per day, drought, water usage, low pressure resistance. We're doing the pressure room. Definitely the pressure room. Must be the pressure room. Right. Oh shit. Um, no, stop. I'm doing the wrong one. Ass. Water usage. <laughs> no. Push that button to get low pressure resistance. Now it's low pressure resistance. You dildo. Right, so.
low pressure resistance, we shall destabilize. Wow. Um, we'll destabilize you, destabilize you again. Oh, because I raised them up, I'm going to have to destabilize them quite a few times to get them back to uh, destabilized. Uh, yeah, got a couple more shots on you. Thank you. And it will be the low pressure resistance. No, this is low pressure resistance. Low pressure tolerance. <laughs> ah, who would have thought genetic engineering would be a complicated thing? Uh, boop, radio. So low pressure resistance is fully destabilized. So I now want low pressure tolerance. Low push a button. Low pressure tolerance. You. Okay. Now we will not tolerate that. <laughs> um, right, so I shall need to hit you a few times. Uh, Uh, low temperature is still... No, nah, that'll be fine. It's going to be in a low temperature anyway. don't really care about that one. I'm just going to extract the genes once I... Ooh. I can only extract one gene, can't I? Well. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, crap. Um... Right, low pressure resistance, low pressure tolerance. Yes, that's what I want, because it's a pressure test. We're doing the pressure. It's definitely the pressure. Now, I can take it down to, we said, uh, you. I can take it down to 49. Do I have to push it below 49 kilopascals to get it to change? Um... I think we we will. Not too far, or it won't grow. Uh, so if I put you into there, and uh, yeah, I really want to dial on there, but I don't have one yet. Get out of my way, Wilson. Uh, so uh, pressure housing. Let's do it the uh, awkward way. Um, Import you. So pressure event. We shall take to uh, say just just in it. Let's say 48. So the pressure regulator will have to be 47 to get the gas flow through there. Uh, export you. Right, so you should drop down to 40. It'll get there. The pressure is dropping. Right, so we're on to our second round of that because the first round was a complete waste. Uh, anyway. Alright, uh, now. We want to set up this pollutant room. I still got to get me canister of pollutant. Uh, you are set up. Did I name you? No, I have not named any of this stuff yet, so we better get in there and do that. So you are a pollutant. Pollutant. You are the pollutant vent pump. You are the pollutant vent. You are the Oops, UTA pollutant sensor, and you are the pollutant regulator. Nope, oh, that'll do. Uh, pollutant regulator. Right, um, 
that's all we needed. Gonna keep going down. We don't want them to be too happy. 49's the limit, so I want to get you down below that. You're getting there. Ah, uh, right. Well, you're still growing all right. You're struggling. Um, right, now I need to set up my thingy jiggers. Um, where are you? Oop, there we go. So the pollutant. Uh, pollutant vent. Pollutant sensor. I've got too many things on here now. Pollutant sensor temperature and a uh, pollutant sensor pressure. Nice. Right, so we want to keep the temperature and pressure at a comfortable spot and uh, just uh, put in, well, pollutant. Ah, so we'll need to name you lot too. That's not a namer. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do. Uh, pollutant display. Uh, pollutant growth display. Display. And I'll forget that capital G just to annoy everyone. And this is the pollutant display. Uh, right now, uh, is that all I need? I've got pollutant invent outvent. Nice. So I just need some pollutant. I may need some temperature. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, so am I really out of steel sheets? Okay, well, that's, that's, that's nice to know. Uh, uh, nope, it must be a steel one. And your steel sheets, right. You're ready to go, just about. So now I've got to code something up and um, we should be right. Uh, and some pollutant will be needed. Now, um, and some dials. Some dials will be needed. I can hook you up. Uh, I just need a chip. Um, boop, uh, do I have a spare chip? I have a spare chip. Look at that. Ah, uh, right. Now I need to uh, get that room right. So um, I shall grab some my pollutant tank. My pollutant tank is what I need. Uh, how much of that do I have, and how long is it going to last? Um, 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 um. um. Uh, and some steel sheets. Get some steel sheets. My water's down to 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, rockets. You are still collecting. Oh. You are sitting there unloading by the looks. Yep. You're good to go. You should be collecting. You are. Well, you're about to come back. And where are we? So I need some some sheets. Uh, make me uh, make me a stack of them. Fitty. Uh, <laughs> explosives. Yeah, I should really get rid of that real quick. Oh, it's damaged. 
Does the storm still do damage in here? You rotten storm. Uh, great, it did. It's damaged all that stuff. Now. Uh, everything got damaged. Wow. Um, okay, so is that just this place here? Is that um, kind of turned back into a not room? We're outside again. <laughs> you bastard of a game. Uh, Okay. Now there is a console command, um, which I can't remember. But the, is it a storm that causes that? Ah, weird. Um, anyway, so I can't leave stuff out here then. Um, right, so we wanted to go to stuff. I'll grab you. Um, I had to go get the tank. Ooh. We've got gas. Whoa, 15 megapaths actually filled it up. Ooh. Um, oh. No, we're good. Okay. Well, there's not much left in that tank. But uh, I got my 15 megapascals of gas, so uh, I shall take ye, and uh, we should be happy. Oh, now I've got to carry this up the bloody stairs through the doors. Come on. Come on, canister of doom. Oh, shit. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get in through that small door and in into the torture chambers. I right, just get up the... Um, now I'm going to have to ruin my base. Maybe I should just fly it out up the... Uh, oh, I've got this far. Right, um, yeah, oh, <laughs> shit. <sighs> Put it down. Uh. Okay, let's hope this lasts a long time because I don't want to have to do this too often. Uh, yeah, get, get out the door. Yeah. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Stupid things. Now, through there. Oh, did it. Now, mate. Oh. There we go. Thank you, Wilson. Another implement of torture. Did... I'll just pressurize the line. Ah. Um. No, I still got six megapascals. That's all right. 
Uh, right, so that I think is built. Uh, very good. Now let's put down some floor in there so I can stop tripping over everything. Wow, that's better. Uh, right. I think that's the last of our torture chambers. Now we just have to do it. So you're growing happily. Now we are below the 49 kilopascals which it was uh, set to grow at. So hopefully if we're now, it's still, still growing nicely. It will hopefully uh, allow it to grow better. Now, are you fully grown? Let's go have a look. Uh, seeds. There we go. Well done. Now, what did we do with this one? Uh, well, let's uh, not get you all mixed up. Um, let's put the rejects back in the shrubbery. Now, you, 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 have you. Now these ones were done properly with the destabilized temperature, uh, I'm pretty sure. How did I do? So, yeah, low temperature tolerance. There's low temperature tolerance or low temperature resistance I should be putting in. I'm going to do both. Oh, I don't know. Uh, now, growth temperature range has not changed at all. Time until frozen. Now, the time until frozen has gone down. Right, so it is the resistance, not the tolerance I should be doing. Well, it should be both. So you've got time until fro no, that's bad. I want that to go higher. So it freezes quicker now. Oh shit. <laughs> that's not what it's meant to happen. That one's bad. But I Is this totally random or do I have to put it in the cold to actually do that? So that one's gone up for a whole nine seconds, is it? Well, nine seconds isn't going to get me far through the night. Uh, well, how would your temperature go? Well, you're down to 17. I hope yours is better. 19, shit. But it had better frozen damage. Oh. Right, well, let's take the best one we got. And we'll try not to stuff this one up. Um, so now I shall stabilise everything. We've got to destabilise stuff again. Now, this time we shall destabilise low temperature tolerance. So if I give that a couple of shots then low temperature resistance. Right. So if we get you, oop, and we shall say low temperature resistance, uh, low temperature resistance, you. Right, so it's got temp low temperature tolerance and low temperature resistance are both destabilized. <coughs> and I'll put it down to uh, outside, so I'll put it to so 19 degrees is what it can take, so I'll put it down to 18 degrees and see how we go. 
I'll give you another two shots on that one. You should go down to minus one. Oh, I could be using this all completely wrong. Who really knows? But, uh, that's what experiments are for. And done. Minus one and minus one. We're definitely on the right ones there. They're temperatures. Excellent. Oops. Now I can go and plant it into there. Uh, if I can get through the door, put you into there. Now I can put you down to 18 degrees. Right. Now you're outside your comfort zone, so suffer. <laughs> um, right, so we have, I think we have that room built. I've just got to code up some code to uh, run it all. Um, rockets are going, I've got my pollutant. We are almost finished with the torture chambers. Uh, but that's probably about all we've got time for today. So, ooh, 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 check the scorecard. Check the scorecard before we go. Um, maybe another weather station, because that was just silly. And I shall regenerate those rooms. Regenerate rooms, I think that was what the, uh, the server command was. Will that kill, kill everything? Ah, uh, we'll find out. Um, where's my scorecard? How do I go? Uh, we are day 93. The temperature still hasn't gone up. 76.6. One, <laughs> no. Ah, uh, seventy-six point six one minus. Ah, uh, so resistance to temperature might be the one. It's got to get through the night. And what was the other one? Nineteen eighty-four. Oh, it has gone off. Oh. Uh, 1.984. So that has gone up. Pressure is going up. Uh, what are we? Day 93. Uh, we're still making progress. So the temperature. Why isn't the temperature going up? I have got pollutant in here now. I've got CO2. Uh, the pollutant's gone up. Pollutant was below 1%. Now it's above 1%. So um, it's definitely there. Although the oxygen has gone up, that might be affecting it. The pressure's gone up. Uh, hmm. Anyway, we'll see how we go. We are making progress. I'm, 100 days is normally where I... Uh, this is my normal end game time, so... I might go a little bit past that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about all for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya. Oh yeah, regenerate rooms does fix the problems. Uh, so I'm back in a room again now. Takes a little while to do it, but uh, yeah, it works. Cool. I remember that one.